What's up guys? Welcome to Why Not Spirit. Today I'm going to show you my quick setup for pressure washing for 2022. Let's get after it. Alright, so the first tool that I use is the X-Jet M5. Um, so what this does is it allows me to spray chemicals on driveways, on the house, for house cleanings. Um, the cool part about this is it has a, uh, it has a proportioner in here. So it does all the mixing of the chemicals for you. So you don't have to do, you know, any of the math or any of the proportioning yourself. All you do is just put your straight chemicals in your bucket, put the end of the extra into your bucket, and then, you know, you connect the end just right to the end of your power washing um, nozzle. Yeah. And then you're good to go. When you start spraying, it'll automatically mix the chemicals for you to the um, the right proportion of the proportioner that you put in there for you. So it makes it real easy so anybody can start washing houses. You don't need a giant setup on a truck or, you know, a soft wash system. All you need is just your um, X-Jet. The next tool I use is my 18-inch um, surface cleaner by Rigid. Um, it's my you know, a favorite surface cleaner I've found so far and only one I've used so far. But the reason I like this one is because it attaches right to your um, pressure washing wand. So you don't have to, um, so you know, it's real quick. It's like while you're doing a driveway, if you need to switch to like your turbo nozzle, you don't have to, you know, go back to the truck, grab the wand, you know, change up your setup. All you do is just disconnect here and then you add on your other nozzles. And just in case y'all haven't looked inside, it's what inside of a surface cleaner looks like. There's some pebbles in there. But it's real easy to set up. So you just put it on your driveway, grab your pressure washing wand, and then you're good to go. You can push this anywhere that you want. And then like if you need to change it up real quick, just disconnect it and you can put on your other nozzles. Highly recommend. So my next tool is a piece of safety equipment. Um, it's a 3M uh, respirator mask. So what this does is it, like when I'm spraying chemicals on house, like chlorine and you know, bleach, um, these pink cartridges here filter out the chlorine, you know, makes it uh, safer to breathe. Um, if you're only doing like one, you know, job here and there, you probably don't need it. But, you know, I like to be on the safe side because I do a couple jobs a weekend, you know, just so there's no long-term effects. But 3M, this one's very comfortable. You know, you can flip this and it like flips on and off your face. Um, but overall, very comfortable. You can wear it for hours and it's not, won't bother you. All right, so next one is my fanny pack. So the fanny pack, it holds all my nozzles. So we got, you know, turbo nozzle. This is um, another tool I highly recommend getting. It'll make, you know, if you have to use a nozzle, you know, it's 40 degrees, so it makes it go really quick. You can see it in my other videos, you know, turbo nozzle allows knockout areas. Um, but the fanny pack, you know, I just wear it so I can switch out the nozzles real quick so you don't have to go back to the machine. And then, so these are the nozzles I normally use. So the turbo nozzle, um, so we got 15, I don't even know, 25, and then the soap nozzle. Those are the only nozzles that you need. Um, I mean, I do keep you know, the other ones just in case, like the one degree, I mean, zero degree, I've never had to use that one, but you never know. But highly recommend getting a fanny pack because you can, you know, holds all your nozzles right there. You can switch them out real quick. All right, guys, moment y'all been waiting for. So the pressure washer I use is a DeWalt 4000 uh, PSI pressure washer. Um, it's 3.5 gallons a minute. Um, so I picked this one up from Home Depot and it's, you know, I've had it for about a year and it works really good. You can wash anything with it, driveways, um, houses. I did a full review on it. You can go check that out um, if you want to get, you know, more into the specs of it. But it, you know, it works really good. You can load it in and out of your truck real easy. Um, you know, the wand I use with it, it's just the standard wand that came with the pressure washer. And then I use about 100 feet of hose. So I got... You know the 50 feet that came with the pressure washer and I bought another 50 feet of hose to um, you know connect to it so now I got a hundred um, 
You don't really need more than 100 feet of hose because if you can't reach somewhere, you know, you just move the pressure washer closer to it. Um, the only other thing I attached to it was a six foot hose. So this allows me, you know, to connect to the house's water supply. Um, I used to have about like 200 feet of hose that I would bring to every job, but for most residential jobs, that's way too much. And then the six foot hose will do the job for you. Cause if you want to go to the back of the house, you know, you just disconnect it, bring the wa pressure washer back. You know, it just makes it real easy since you can roll this around. Six foot of hose will do great for that. All right, and the last piece of equipment I highly recommend is um, if you don't have a trailer, you know, some ramps to uh, roll your pressure washer in and out of your truck. Um, really makes loading it easy. I tried to lift that thing into the back of my truck before and I thought I was gonna break my back. Um, I think I got these from Harbor Freight or Tractor Supply, one of those places, everybody has them. Um, but you can, even Home Depot, but highly recommend those, it'll save your back. You're probably wondering where I got all this stuff. So the X-Jet, I think it's a website called Pressure Washing Supply. Um, don't quote me on that. So you can just Google X-Jet M5 and you'll see a bunch of retailers for it. Um, my water bucket, you know, I got that from Walmart. Um, this, my respirator, I got from Amazon. So mine's a size small. Um, and then the surface cleaner, I got that from Home Depot fanny pack i found that at a garage sale you can also buy these on the link in the description um turbo nozzle i got that from home depot uh pressure washer i got this one from home depot hose home depot extra you know hose for the um you know pressure washing hose home depot and this i think it was harbor freight or tractor supply but you can also buy these from Home Depot. You can pretty much get this whole setup for, I'd say 1100 bucks, and then you're ready to start pressure washing. And then a majority of this, you know, you just get from Home Depot and you could be started up in a weekend. You don't have to buy a full setup or, you know, a whole truck or anything like that. And if you're really on a budget, all you need to buy is the Dewalt pressure washer because it comes with the a 50 foot hose. Um, it comes with the, a wand and all the tips except the turbo nozzle. You know, see, so it comes with all those. And then you can even use, you know, your customer's garden hose. You know, get your first job under your belt. Well, there you have it. My pressure washing setup for 2022. I'm very excited for this year. But if you're looking for a, an easy setup, you know, this is. Oops, Looking for an easy setup, this is a real good one for you. you no know, cheap and can get you out there making some money. Remember, get out there, get after it, spirit.